Good day, friends. Uh, before I go on to today's subject, I just uh, want to say something uh, uh, to you, and that is about Feast of Tabernacles. It's starting tonight. It's very important that uh, believers in Christ should honor God's feast in this regard. It is not Israel's feast, but it is God's feast. He will never force it onto you. But having said that, let me give you an example in the Bible. There are many examples. There's a tire that I can mention, uh, David, um, yeah, Jesus himself. Uh, Jesus just uh, uh, finished off a uh, uh, Passover that night. He said to the disciples, how I desire to have this Passover with you. And that, by the way, is New Testament. Yes, the disciples, all of them, honored God's feast days. Okay? Yeah. And there are seven blessings in God's feast days. He will take sickness away. He will bless your land. He will give you a yearly salary. He will give you an angel. And that night, on that particular night, Jesus uh, 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 was uh, strength totally left him. Yes. And he said, Father, if he, only you can take this cup away. There was four cups in the, in the Passover. And one cup of that cup was um, the uh, cup that only Jesus could drink. The cup of wrath. Yes. It's only Jesus could have drank that cup for us. And he began his uh, uh, time in Gethsemane, and the pressure of our sin was so much upon him. And he said, Father, if only possible, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but, ye, but your will. He was perspiring blood, people, on our behalf. Blood, blood, perspire blood. So much was the pressure of the world's sin upon them. Even what's happening right now, everywhere around the world. And that is heavy pressure. Jesus didn't realize it. But then, it was, it's, it was the Father's will for Jesus to, to suffer on our behalf. To take that penalty. We are supposed to all go to hell. But he put it on Jesus. Yeah, and God sent him an angel to strengthen him, to strengthen him in, in, in that regard. Yeah, that is what God uh, did. The same with Job. Job lost everything. Satan said, test him. And God said, okay, take it, but don't take his life. Because God knows what, uh, what is going to happen to, to, to Job. You see, Job honored God's feast days. He celebrated God's feast days uh, regularly. Um, and God blessed him seven times more than what he lost nine months after, nine months after his suffering. God restored everything seven times more. Even his wife and the other wife as well that said, die and curse God. Job didn't do that. Not even in circumstances. It, there was a, a family uh, uh, in the uh, under God. You know that uh, the America is under the judgment hammer of God. And that two floods here says many hurricanes, but this is this is completely something different. I'm telling you, where it is man made of God, uh, 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 all from God. America's under the judgment, the hammer of God. Remember the X, the X, the two, uh, that is exactly it. And that came after seven months, uh, seven months time. So it, we, I thought it would have been a rapture, but it wasn't a rapture yet. Yeah, so uh, uh, that family, I believe that that family, uh, um, this lady lost her father and her mother and a seven-year-old boy, just like that. She survived uh, five hours in the water. And I believe in that family honored God's fierce days. God would have sent them an angel right away. And uh, the reason why that lady survived is because uh, her sister 
and sister put on all news media to pray, 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 and she survived five hours in that, that water, yeah, but she survived, what a testimony is there, yes, God will uh, honor you if you, if you obey his feast days, and I, I speak on my own behalf, God paid me a, a, a salary, yes, I didn't, I didn't earn, uh, earn, uh, earn a salary, but God pays me a salary. Uh, yeah, you ask how? God uses people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and God sent me an angel many times. Yes, and God will even send you an angel on the day of the rapture, people. God will send you an angel. Don't miss out on that. There are seven promises in Exodus, Exodus 23. Read about it. And tonight it starts with us. And the one thing God says, do not come empty-handed before me. Read that carefully. Okay. Uh, but before this, I, uh, so going on to this subject, I want to say this. That this is a message that I found a missing year. Uh, give it one more year. Yes. That is October 2024, September, that is, uh, uh, that is Feast of Trumpets to Feast of Trumpets. God created the world, yes, yeah, on the sixth day, and on the seventh day he rest, and that was on Feast of Trumpets. It's the beginning and the end. I am the Alpha and the Omega, Jesus said. It's not on any other day, and that is how it's going to end, the beginning and the end. No matter, you can look from January until December until you blue. It is on Feast of Trumpets, people. The, 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 the last trump, the 100 blast is on Feast of Trumpets. There's only 700 people that watch this video. If you didn't, go watch pre that, my previous video. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Now, God is patient. He said, let it alone for this year. Now, uh, God the Father was the, the uh, owner of Israel, of the land Israel. And Jesus was the one that uh, nurtured, that fertilized it, that, uh, the, the gardener at that time. And uh, uh, he said unto the Father, give it another year. Give it another year. That year was not included in it. But Jesus compassionately for his people, the Judah. Yeah, Jesus is from a tribe of Judah. And he said, give it another year. Jesus did everything in his power to, uh, uh, to um, preach the gospel during that time. But he had very, very, very few People that are only a remnant got saved at that time. And uh, Judah refused, didn't believe in him, that he is the Messiah. Now, God nurtures, and dig it in a, a, around and put fertilizer in. And God's patience has limits. If it bears fruit, next year it's fine. But if not, cut it down. Now, you have to understand this, that God has a God have a clock. As I said, everything uh, occurred right on this is where it began in Virgo. It's going to, uh, it began with Virgo and it's going to end in Leo with Jesus returning as a, as a lion. Yeah, that is exactly what is going to happen here. So this is the beginning and the end. Yeah, so uh, this is right here, uh, on, uh, don't turn, uh, worry about the rest, this is where it occurred. God got a clock, and the 12 constellations are, is that clock, okay? There are another three deacons that uh, gives it more uh, input into the, uh, the whole story. For instance, uh, there is the, uh, in Leo, there is a cup, that big jar called uh, Crux, the, that is the that is the cup of wrath, and there is also uh, uh, the raven, raven there. Uh, it's in there, and then also the big hydra snake is in there, and the paw of of the, of the lion is a paw hydra. So those are the three that supports us. This is not a study that I'm doing today. I'm just explaining to you that God got a 
clock and it started with God's word and the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man for uh, uh, that he is also flesh. Yet his days shall be 120 years. That 120 years got nothing to do with man's age because at that time Noah of them lived uh, up to 800, 900 years. Adam was 930 years before he, uh, he passed away. Uh, just to give you an example. So that uh, it got nothing to do with man's age. But it is the jubilee years. If you divide 120 by times 50, it's 6,000 years. Now, that 6,000 years is not full yet. And that is where that year comes in. Give it an extra year. So now I do not know that God turned the clock backwards or what the God did. It doesn't say that. I know about the day that the sun stood still. That day was replaced uh, when, um, when Hez uh, not Hezekiah, uh, um, uh, then, um, uh, uh, what is his name again? God had uh, uh, 15 years uh, to his life. But uh, when he asked God to turn the clock backwards, that is when God, that is when God replaced that day. Now, God's going to replace this year as well. God has to replace the time that He takes out of Matthew 24, 22, the shortening of days. Otherwise, no, uh, no flesh would remain, He would say. It. If He doesn't do that, God has to replace that so that His clock can match. Otherwise, it will not match the full, uh, the full minutes of time. God's clock is 24 hours a day. Yes, that, uh, that 6,000 years must be um, 24 hours a day. And at this now, so you shorten the days uh, of the se seven years, the times of Daniel's timeline, he shortened it by 24 months. So now we already set that time frame out from 2022 to until 2024. And that is why I was so convinced that the rapture would occur, but of course it did not. It did not occur at all. So, uh, uh, and you can go, uh, uh, some of you looked at Feast of Atonement, but it didn't come there. Again, uh, uh, there's people that go on Feast of uh, uh, Tabernacles and say, yes, Jesus will come on Feast of uh, Tabernacles. Jesus will not come, the rapture uh, and the judgment will not happen there. It is on Feast of Trumpets, people, on the last uh, trump. The Jews believe that, and that is that matter is settled. So, um, yeah. So, as I said, God has a clock, and that clock must match. It must match. And if you look at this, is all the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. And that 12 tribes, by the way, it is you yourself. Because everybody, uh, all of us, comes from those 12 tribes. That is how God organized it. The Father carries a ring on his finger. Yeah, yeah, on his, on his right hand. He got a, a finger on his right, a, a right with a 12. Ring of the twelve tribes of the finger. Where is it in the Bible? And somebody saw that in a vision. And Jesus, that you do know, he is thy a high priest. You know, he carry uh, the twelve tribes on the breastplate of on his chest. That is where Jesus kept it. Okay, yeah. So Jesus is a high priest today, and he make intercession on on, on our behalf. We all come out of the loins of those twelve tribes, people. Yeah, three, from Abram's seed, you remember what uh, uh, that scripture says about Abram? Okay, so now you see, you know, <laughs> we're coming from uh, Abram's loins as well. Yeah, okay, it's God ordained it that way. He, uh, um, there was Shem, Ham, and Japheth, their sons. And then, uh, okay, uh, uh, God didn't make that promise to, to them that your stars will be like the sea of the sand and the stars of the sky. He made that to, uh, to Abram, Isaac, and Jacob. And God split them all over in the world. Uh, uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. 
and they intermarried all the, the uh, uh, people with uh, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. I am serious. Judah, of course, is the is the is the biggest tribe. That's Judah. He is the biggest tribe of all. And then, of course, Dan is the second biggest tri the tribe. Uh, I think we'll do a study, uh, a study uh, again. You know, a, a, a greater portion of that study for you again. I did it in some of the videos, but I don't know precisely where and which video I did that. Okay, so you have to understand that the clock has to reach its full time. So it's just not the fullness of time yet of the Gentiles. So there's still one year left. Now my question is this. Did the, did the elite uh, uh, know that it would be 2024 or 2025? The Bible does say no man knows a day and hour. Yes, right. But you must understand the devil. He was on, on, on a God's throne for, for thousands of years. And he knows about the Jubilees. He has understanding about the Jubilees and when it will end and etc. But he doesn't also know all things. Yeah. So uh, did Trump's ear, Trump's ear, by the way, what that, that signifies the blood on the ear means that he is ready for service and the Jews also know that. The red heifers by the way is three years now this month of October. Well but my question is will it be a sacrifice uh, this month or they have to probably get another heifer for three, uh, for three years out? That is my question. Will the rapture and judgment still come this year? Some of you believe, believe that it's like it's for your uh, uh, prerogative to, to, uh, to, say, to believe it or not. Well, I believe it is going to be next year because Feast of Trumpets is over. And some say, yes, Feast of Trumpets is only happening tomorrow because that is on a full moon. Now, the full moon is not the new moon. The full moon is not the new moon. You err if you say that. That goes against God's word if you say that. It is a sliver of the moon. That is the new moon. It's from history times as well. Don't change God's word, people. Don't change God's word. Uh, fast and pray and ask God if that is the, uh, uh, on which day is the new moon. Full moon or new moon. But it is the, new, uh, the sliver of the moon. Okay, so I hope you have the understanding of that. It is just that time is not full on subject. As I said, I already explained to that to you, there is a year short. Now, in the fall of AD 31 AD, Jesus said, A certain man at the fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it, but found none. Didn't found any. Then he said to the vine dresser, of course, vine dresser is Jesus, and uh, the owner, of course, is fa uh, the father. Yeah, it is three years that I have come in looking for fruit on this fig tree, that of course the fig tree is around, but I have found none. So uh, Jesus said, uh, he said, cut it, and he said, cut it down. Why, uh, why really should it keep the ground useless? In reply, Jesus said to him, Master, let it alone also this year. That year has been added, I believe. That year, and that is why we're going to sit out 24 to 25 Feast of, tr 25 feast of Trumpets. Uh, 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 until I dig around it and put on more manure, and if then it produces fruit in the future, well and good, but if not, you shall cut it down. You shall cut it down. Okay. So at the time Jesus spoke of this uh, fig tree uh, uh, as a vine dresser. He spent three years trying to cultivate faith among the Jews, his brethren. Remember, Jesus is a tribe of Judah. Uh, Judah. It's not a world of Israel. Remember, ten tribes, uh, they moved into uh, Assyria at that time. It's only Benjamin and... Um, uh, the, uh, the Levi that was with, with uh, 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 Judah at that time. 
Yeah. So he spent three years trying to cultivate faith among, say, among Levi, among the Jews as, as well. Yeah, and his brethren. Yet, in spite of the many advantages under under the Abrahamic uh, uh, and the law covenants, only a small, a very small remnant of Jew, uh, Jewish uh, nation had accepted the Messiah at that time. You can see that in Romans uh, nine four and and also five and twenty seven. Now, during his fifth year of the ministry, Jesus intensified his effort among the Jews, symbolically dig, digging and putting manure around the Jewish fig tree by zealously preaching and ministering to them and, uh, in Judah and finally in around Jerusalem, Ch Luke chapters 10 and, uh, to, to 19. You can read about that. It's all in there. Yeah, however, halfway through the fourth year, three, Jesus' ministry was three and a half years before when he went to the cross. A few days before his death, Jesus wept over Jerusalem and told the capital, you know what Jesus wept? He said, how I desire to take you like a hen, you know, like a chicken's with his hen, like a mother hen uh, with a chicken's, how I desire. And Jesus wept. I always say to my, I got chickens uh, down in my basement and I, when I can put them, uh, 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 you know, in for a night and I always tell my chickens, you know, Jesus is very important of you. I got one rooster as well. And I told you, told her my rooster, his name is Peter, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And I tell him, yeah, uh, you're very important because you are in the Bible and Jesus speaks very good about you guys. And I see, young, I tell you, when they sit on the rooster, they look at me and they listen like, uh, and, ch and talking now, chatting, uh, preaching to them, you know. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm sure uh, when I get to heaven, I find that now they could understand, uh, understood what I said there, you know. Yeah, so uh, that is, of course, um, Matthew 23, verse 37, verse 39. Now, Abba, the owner of the Jewish fig tree, had inspected it once again in the fourth season and of uh, uh, tens, uh, tens of care by Jesus himself. Yeah, finding it fruitless as a nation and he ordered it to be cut down. Even the disciples did so. The disciples afterwards, after Jesus led, they give it more time, but they still did not. Some, of course, did. And it cut down the line with the principle Jesus stated in Matthew 7 verse 19. Yeah, thus the kingdom of God was taken from the Jewish nation and given to a nation called spiritual Israel producing its fruits. Matthew 21 uh, verse 33. This transfer of course occurred at the at Pentecost. That's when the Pentecost, the Pentecost, that is when, uh, when it happened of course. The Pentecost 32 AD, or the same year, 32 AD, when Jesus died on a cross. Jesus didn't die. Some say, you, if you say 30, I, I first believe it used to be 31, but then I discovered that it is completely wrong. It was 32 AD. And there was another proof that it was 30, uh, 32 AD because um, NASA has a uh, solar solar uh, uh, eclipse that happened uh, on that day, a lunar eclipse that happened on day. It was a full moon. Uh, uh, that was his name, and there was uh, there was darkness for three hours, and that is proven by NASA. And they actually took it out uh, out of Google and even on Bing. Afterwards, it is missing, but I do have the evidence of it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> See, I'm missing his year. Three S's. <laughs> anyway, but nevertheless, yeah. So, um, yeah, so that was 32 AD. Now, 37, uh, not 37, 38 years later, yeah, in 70 AD, the cut down of the fig tree was, was thrown into the fire when Jerusalem and the Jew, uh, Jewish nation were destroyed people. Oh, what a day that was, the It's almost something what happened now 
with the, the judgment of God, with all that, with that uh, hurricanes and things that's happening in America. Yeah, and Matthew 3 verse 9, and Luke verse 19 verse to, uh, 40 to 44. Do you know what is the 40th, uh, by the way, the, the 248th birthday for this year? It means doomed. America is doomed. And we can already see it, people. Honor God's feast days, and God will give you an angel. I, I tell you, if I read God's promises, as God's promises is actually like a, a money in your bank account that you have, uh, have it on a, at the right time, at the right time. And that is how powerful God's promises is. God's promises is always true. If God promised something like uh, uh, Abram, he's going to uh, have, uh, have a son. Of course, Abram, uh, Abram did not, uh, uh, it was, of course, Sarah. Sarah that made the, the, the mess up there. And today we actually have that mess up in Israel with all the, all the things that's happening there. Just because of Sarah's mistake. Yeah. Hold on to God's promises. It is true. It will come. It is only for a right division down because it is it is going to come, people. It is going to come. Jesus is coming, people. That's all that I have for you today. The missing of the year is there's still another year short, people. I'm sorry uh, um, about that. I uh, <laughs> I believe it it was fully the year myself. I really believe that, and the Holy Spirit addressed this issue to me way back in two thousand twenty two. That is why I said that there is a year short, because I know Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, uh, 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 you know, I wouldn't say in words, but put it in my heart and put it in my mind. But I did not how you know how it fitted in. Bless you, people. Share this. Uh, this message is very important. Jesus loves you. Please do uh, subscribe, do comment, and do share the video. Much love, Vincent.